Hello everyone and welcome to this exciting lesson on the mole. Now, the mole, as you took in your notes, is not a furry animal and it's not a spy and it's not something that you find on your skin, but rather what it is, a mole is just an amount of substance. And it's a certain amount of substance that is found um, that is equal to, not just found, it's equal to the same number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. And the reason that we say carbon-12 because um, that's the mass, atomic mass of carbon, okay? So that's really all it is. All right, so it's just a counting number. And when it comes to this, there's a specific number that is associated. And that is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles. And it's gonna take me a lot longer to just write this than it is to actually do the problems particles. Okay. A representative particle. Sure, Mrs. Z, what the heck are you talking about? Well, a representative particle is just anything that is present. It's ions, it is molecules, it is, what did I say, um, atoms and something called formula units. And formula units are just um, like sodium chloride, any ionic compound. Now I wanna also go back. This number, I always call it the magic number, is called Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number, okay? No, as much as you want to think, it's not, oh, that looks like a really weird thing. Let's see, can I actually draw one? You know what you're thinking? You're thinking of that cute little avocado. It looks like an egg right now, but let me make it, uh, look, it looks like an avocado, but it's not avocado's number. Sorry, guys. Sad day. No avocados. It's Avogadro. That's the guy's name. All right, moving on. So we're just going to dive right into this. Right into the math. Just rip off that band-aid. And it's going to hurt for a little bit, but it's not going to be that bad. So, as you saw in the notes, it said we have 2.80 times 10 to the 24th atoms of silicon. And we need to convert it into moles. So we need to have some sort of conversion factor. So notice we want to go from atoms to moles. And the conversion factor, what it is, one mole is equivalent to Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now, this number down here doesn't change. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. What will change are your units depending on what you're solving for. What, Mrs. Z? E? Don't worry. You're going to be fine. All right. So, notice, in... The problem, it says that we have, what are we starting with? We're starting with 2.80 times 10 to the 24th atoms. And we want to convert it to moles. So if you remember when I would do the crosshairs, we want to get rid of atoms. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the unit atoms on the bottom. And we're going to associate it with 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, because there are more atoms, if you will, than one mole. It doesn't, it's not really like that, but that's the way it would be. Okay, so we got silicon, 
silicon, silicon. Atoms cancel out. We're left with the mole. And when you put it into your electric, handy dandy electric brain, as I call it, you're going to see 4.65 is your answer. That's how many moles that there are. Now, when you put this into your calculator, remember that um, depending on what version you have, you're going to put, put 2.8 and you're going to type EE. And then you're going to put the number 24 because this means times 10 to the whatever it is. And I hit equals and you get an answer. And then what you're going to do is hit divide by. Right, so you're going to press that number, that, that button, and you're going to type in 6.02, and again, there's that EE button, 23 in equals, and you should get 4.65 moles. Does this make sense? Absolutely, because this number, especially times 10 to the 24th, is higher than times 10 to the 23rd. So you're expecting it to be more than one mole. All right, so now we're going the opposite direction. Now we're being asked how many molecules, and we wanna go from molecules to moles. Okay, remember this does not mean mole, uh, molecules, it means moles. All right, so now we're going to take what we were given in the problem, which was 0 0.360 moles. And, well, we already have moles, so we wanna get rid of moles. So where we're gonna put it, we wanna get rid of it, so we're gonna put it on the bottom of the next square one mole. Notice the number one always goes with the mole. Okay. Now, what is it that it wants? It wants molecules. So according to Avogadro's number, we want 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. And when you plug that into your handy dandy electric brain, you're going to get 7.2 and chances are you're going to see E20. Now this should not be written that way. You should not give me any answers like that. What that means is that it's 7.2 times 10 to the 20th molecules. All right. So I want to see the answers like this, not like what I just crossed out, not that, all right? That's lazy. I want you to actually think, and what is it? It is times 10 to the 20th molecules. Now, does this answer make sense? Absolutely, because we're saying one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. But in this case, what did we start with? We started with less than point uh, less than one mole of water we started with 0.36 so having an exponent less than times 10 to the 23rd makes sense all right well that's all i have for this part of the lesson for moles thank you for joining me i miss you guys and please remember when it comes to moles we are talking about avogadro's number and we're not talking about the thing that makes guacamole i just feel like making that little guy right now and you, you know what you know the deal guess what you could draw for me if you want to you could draw me a happy little guacamole <laughs> or avocado all right, guys. Take care. I miss you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye.